I first started playing music when I was like five or six. I started playing guitar after going to this charity event at my brother's preschool. Like I was just banging on the strings and like singing about like random things and annoying my parents. So I don't know, I, I just think it was always something that I was really drawn to and like you do anything else, you know, I just did it. I don't, I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I wanted to, but every day I would want to play guitar.
Bloodstream was probably like one of the hardest songs to write on the record for me, actually. Just because I, I wanted it to be this really well crafted thing where um, the verses were kind of like comparing being young and like lively to being my age and like really unlively <laughs> and just kind of like feeling down in the dumps all the time, I guess. But it's, it's become one that ended up actually kind of being like a single on the record. The color thing kind of came about as I was writing the songs. So I found that I was bringing up color a lot in the, like lyrically. And also I just felt like it was kind of being written in these three sections that had three different like moods to them that really corresponded to me to like, like if I was thinking, you know, if I was making a movie with these kind of songs in it, like I could see it having these kind of like colors and stuff. And so I don't know, I just thought it was a cool way to like separate some of these songs that had different energy to them, I guess. There was definitely a moment where I started to realize that there was a following, but it was still like, it was so small. Like even just having strangers downloading for free, like pay what you want on Bandcamp and having people like, you know, seeing a list of like 20 people have downloaded this, that's like even a big moment. But I feel like it just started to feel more like there was someone out there waiting to hear something new.
Grew Up is a song that I wrote in like five minutes. And I, I remember doing it sitting in my parents' house in, in my bed when I was living there still. And I was just kind of like playing on my electric guitar, like not plugged in. And it was just about a general feeling of like not being good enough and being kind of like sarcastic about it, I guess, and feeling like you're your own worst enemy a little bit. And I, I don't know, it, it just felt really real too because it had this sense of like kind of joking about it and kind of being overly honest. I don't think I actually felt proud and expressive in my writing until like I was like 17. So for a long time, I feel like I was just writing, you know, catchy melodies and hooks and stuff about stuff that was just like, you know, love and stuff that I was not at all experienced in or anything. So I don't, I feel like my like senior year of high school, I actually feel like I was starting to write something that meant anything at all and wasn't just like fun to sing. I don't think I'll ever be at the front of a stage without a guitar. I mean, I I don't think of myself much as a singer, so I don't really, I wouldn't even want to do that, really. It's not my thing. And I, I don't even really think of myself solely as a guitar player only. I don't know if I even personally feel like I can pinpoint my own sound, so I don't think there's been a moment where I've like really like been able to nail it down personally. Um, I'm someone where I like to experiment a lot with different sounds and stuff, even though obviously my music isn't that out there. I'm, I'm just really interested in trying stuff that sounds different and that has a different vibe. And I, I really like that like not too bright and like plinky kind of like midi, just gritty guitar sound that sounds really crisp. It's a little dirty, but it's not like distorted necessarily. I'm always looking for new pedals and stuff just to kind of, you know, see if I can find something crazy and new.
Circle the Drain was a song that I remember writing it specifically in the van on like a West Coast tour. And I knew, I was like, this is gonna be a really fun one. This is gonna be a single. <laughs> I can already tell it's gonna be a single. Like this is gonna be the one that's like really catchy on the album. Um, and I was just really, I don't know, super excited. I loved the chords and just kind of was liking the lyrics a lot and they were just coming to me really easily. Um, and I was like writing all these little guitar parts for it and trying out all these new ideas. That one was really fun, even though it's kind of depressing, I guess, a little bit, but it was, it was very exciting to write. I feel, I feel very attached to my guitars, personally. When you're playing, it does, it does feel like it's an extension of you, and it's like, you know, you're doing all this stuff to make chords and everything, but then like, all of the rhythm, especially, is just really like, it's almost like percussive in a sense. Like I feel like with rhythm guitar specifically. And I loved, I always loved drums too. I started playing drums when I was like 10 and that was really great. But I don't know, I think I've always loved writing, especially more than playing any instrument. And guitar was just, it's so easy to write songs on guitar and just kind of fell in love with it. But I mean, I, I've loved music as long as I can remember.